Folks, Santa Patad here, back again, uh, doing a quick response video to Kit171. Uh, he uh, posed a question that I like to see posted uh, about once a year, and that is, what is your favorite retro game system and why it's your favorite? Um, this is a good question. It's always good to kind of re 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 uh, revisit it, you know, when you uh, get going. Uh, in your collection and stuff because sometimes your opinion will change over time. Uh, I know I've done this question a time or two. I've done top fives and different things and he mentioned a couple of you know different systems that he thought would be on uh, the majority of people's list uh, and then he listed his own and um, I thought I'd show what he picked real quick and you should go check out his video as well I'm gonna put a link to it in my description box and then you can click on it if you want to go check out his vid and see uh, the comments uh, that people left on his channel but he picked up or picked out the Genesis model one uh, the high-definition graphics one that's got the stereo sound and stuff and um, he picked that one. Um, I I have uh, like three or four of the Model 1s, a couple Model 2s, and actually one Model 3. Um, and uh, it's just one of those systems. It's just, uh, it's, it's hard to beat the Genesis <laughs> and the Super Nintendo for me. Uh, but there's one system that does it, and that's the one I'm, I picked. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. But we were he was talking about the uh, the Mega Drive slash Genesis, and uh, you know uh, the different things for it and stuff, as well as some of the games and ports that he liked, and you know some of the different things. And I told him that I had a Model One Sega CD as well as a Model Two. The Model Two I got. Uh, back in the day, and it is my original Model 2. Actually, my Genesis Model 2 and the Sega CD Model 2 that's attached to it is my oldest system that I still have from when I was younger. Uh, my Nintendo crapped out so many times, I have probably had two or three of them uh, between the ages of 14 and 18, and by the time I was 20, I didn't really care, and now I have about seven or eight of them. Uh, sitting around and to tell you the truth that's where we're going to dive in here because the 8-bit Nintendo is my favorite system of all time. Uh, the reason why this is is as an adult or even as a teenager once I got out of high school and stuff I've never wanted for video games. Um, you know I had a Genesis and a Super Nintendo and a Sega CD back in the day and then I bought a PlayStation 1 uh, was it, I, I don't know why I just didn't like the Nintendo 64, mainly the controller. I thought the games were geared more towards kids versus uh, an adult audience, which the PS1's graphics, looking back on it, are pretty rough, but it just felt like they were gearing their games more toward an adult audience. And the Saturn and, and the Dreamcast, I kind of just missed the boat on. Um, I don't know. I think it was because uh, by the time I w had the Sega CD and I was getting ready for that next-gen system, which would have been the Saturn, um, what was introduced to me through my cousin was the PlayStation and Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil game, and that's what I went out and got. And I know they had Resident Evil on the Saturn, but it was just one of those things that that's what I saw. I thought it was the new hotness, and that's what I went and bought. Um, so anyway... Um, the reason why the Nintendo holds that favorite slot is uh, I wanted one for so long and it, it, I had to save up and get one and my my mom didn't really want to buy it and I've talked about that before uh, so I had to save money and my, my stepdad did end up pitching in about twenty dollars toward the end so I could get the action set um, but it was one of those deals that I primarily saved up and bought the thing so I had a sense of you know how long it took me to get it and how uh, you know grateful I was to have it you know and then by that time the library of games was pretty extensive and and yeah I know the Genesis came out about three years toward the end of the Nintendo's life cycle um, I was probably a, I was probably a junior in high school um, 9091 kind of around there 91 ish um, yeah, 91, 92, um, and, uh, 
I just, the Genesis, you know, I had, you know, just gotten the Nintendo a year and a half prior, and I was just like, <clears throat> I don't know, and I didn't know anybody that had a Genesis, everybody had the Nintendo, so, um, anyway, um, it was one of those deals where, um, the Nintendo, like I said, it just took me so long to get one, and then to actually afford the, uh, the games and stuff, and, uh, you know, my buddy had one, and it was, was spending a lot of nights and weekends. I know I'm kind of a nerd, but I didn't really go to, you know, school dances or parties or any shit like that. I went over and hung out with one or two close friends on the weekends. I would usually stay the night at my buddy's house at least one of the nights over the weekend, and we would rent games and play. And it was just, we would take turns going back and forth and calling that Nintendo hotline. Uh, I think the number was 1-206-885-7529. Uh, that was the number to the Nintendo hotline. Because you would have to dial it, get the busy signal, redial, redial, redial till you got through. His mom let him call it as long as he paid for the phone calls. Um, so it was one of those deals where, you know... It wasn't that, you know, if we got stuck on something, we could usually get past it pretty quick. And so, I just have a lot of memories and nostalgia playing that system in high school. Um, the games, the library of games, um, the, you know, just the overall experience of it. Plus being introduced to it with my cousin uh, bringing his Nintendo down originally. And it just looked so superior to the Atari and, you know, I'm just one of those guys, I, you know, I know there are dudes that are older than me on here, but, you know, I pretty much grew up in this video game era, you know, I mean, the Atari and the ColecoVision and the Intellivision and stuff were, were real, you know, still fairly new in people's minds, you know, Nint I was born in 1975, um, you know, it was one of those deals where I've grown up through the Atari generation, up through, you know, the Nintendo, and then the Master System, and then up through. So I've been around for pretty much all of the iterations of game systems and things like that. And it's just one of those deals where when this game system came out, it, was, it wasn't Pong, and it wasn't exactly the arcade, but it was pretty close to what you were seeing at the arcade as far as, like, Donkey Kong and you know, Popeye and some games like that, and uh, Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario Brothers, and it looked the shit, you know, so it was one of those deals where, you know, it was almost like you had the arcade at home, you know, and then arcade, you know, pushed the boundaries again, and, you know, it eventually got overtaken probably about the 32-bit era is kind of when the arcade was pretty much on par you know, with the home consoles at that point, and um, and then it all changed again. So, anyway, I thought I'd show my my uh, Genesis real quick with the uh, Model One Sega CD attached because I told him I had the Model One. Um, I paid uh, I think 159 or something uh, just for this. I mean, it came with cords and everything to hook it up, but. Um, I may, I, I asked the guy, because I think I got it on, I'm pretty sure I got it on Amazon, um, and pretty much every one of them that was listed was not in working condition, or sold as is, and um, this one said it does work, you know, it, it seemed like it would say, you know, Sega CD, and you would check it, and they'd be like, oh, it's a Model 2, oh, it's a Model to, oh, it's a Model 1, but it, I, I don't know that it works because I don't have a Genesis to hook up to it. You know, that kind of shit. So this guy said he was going to sell it. I think it was up in Nebraska or something. Um, and he said he had, you know, a, a Genesis on it and that it worked. It was tested and worked. Um, and that uh, I asked him, I said, well, is the Genesis on there a high-definition graphics one and he said no but I do have one and I could put it on one on there for you and I said if you put one of those on there for me I'll uh, buy it from you and so I bought the system and uh, I really always wanted the the front loader I know it's dusty as hell because it's usually up on the shelf over there but um, uh, 
I always wanted the Model 1, and by the time I was able to afford a Genesis and a Sega CD, uh, they were already on to the Model 2 design, and I bought the Model 2 design, but I always wanted this original one. It's the one that always caught my imagination, so, you know, this does work. I've never had a problem except for one game, and I don't know why, but the Sega CD version of Mortal Kombat, at least the disc that I have, does not want to load on this game on this console it'll it'll say loading 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 and it just won't load up it does work on my model 2 so i'm not sure why that is but it is the only game i've ever had a problem uh getting it to upload or load uh on this console uh <clears throat> kit 171 also talked about this the power base converter. I bought this loose. I wanted to get one in the box, uh, but um, by the time I got around to buying one, uh, the, all the ones that I had seen that were in the box and stuff were missing. It's supposed to have like a little screw on the back of it there uh, that screws into this hole here to hold it on to the base, but you don't need it. It just snaps in like the 32X does, and like he says, it plays pretty much all of the Sega Master System games given the cartridge slot and then the card input for the five or six card games they made he, and he, he said there there's one or two that don't work because the the 3D glasses or something but you know for the most part it plays pretty much the whole Master System library I do have one Sega Master System but I bought it kind of on a fluke it was an eBay um, deal and it was coming it came with a couple games and um, I just kind of bid on it uh, because I wanted the games that were with it and it was only like $12 or something uh, or maybe even less and I won the 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 uh, auction and I think the guy spent more shipping it to me than I actually paid him I'm you know for the console <laughs> which you know that I don't know sometimes I you know I don't ever sell stuff so I don't know how that goes but Anyway, I thought I'd show a couple quick uh, Nintendo things since I was trying to talk about the Nintendo. I've talked about the Genesis just about as much. But anyway, um, here's some of my uh, Nintendo stuff. This isn't nearly... I have a lot of Nintendo box games up there. I have a good 50 or 60 of them that are still uh, boxed away. Um, I have a TNC Surf Designs over there that's uh, still sealed, I found at the thrift store. Um, we have the uh, Top Loader. Uh, people always talk about the Top Loader. I don't think the Top Loader is as cool as they say it is. I do like the Dog Bone Controllers. Uh, but that top loader, it does have the, the vertical uh, lines that show up sometimes on the screen. And uh, it's just, um, I don't know, I just, yeah, it works. But, you know, a Nintendo will work uh, just as good, the 8-bit Nintendo, if you keep the pin connector uh, fairly new uh, or you change it out and you, um, you know, go in every once in a while and kind of pry those pins up. And maybe if you want to go ahead and cut the lockout chip uh, so it doesn't flash all the time, uh, that's an option as well. I have like four or five Nintendos. One of them I cut the lockout chip in. I'm pretty sure it's that one that's sitting there. Um, uh, the only thing I don't have here is the zapper out. And, well, and my Rob the Robot because I have the deluxe set. Uh, in box, but I, it's put up, and I'm not going to dig it out uh, for this video. It's just, it's in a really bad spot to try to dig it out. Uh, there's an NES Max uh, still sealed in the box. Uh, there's one out, just loose, so you, we can see it. And then I have a Power Glove. I don't have the box for the Power Glove, but I did buy that Power Glove brand new uh, when I was like 17 years old. I do have all the connections and stuff for it. I just don't have the stupid thing that goes around the TV and stuff out here right now. And then we have an NES satellite, uh, the wireless one in box there. And uh, like I said, there's a Nintendo there. Here's a few of my fa more favorite games. We got Mario, Kid Icarus, Zelda 1 and 2, Super Mario 2 and 3. And then we have uh, Rygar and uh, Simon's Quest there. Um, you know... 
uh, just this setup here, I, I, I could go for days with it, you know, and just play these games. Um, there's also a game here, uh, Road uh, RC Prime 2. I don't have the box for that one, but I paid about $25 for that cartridge. It's one of the slightly more rare ones, I mean, as far as common rare ones go, uh, with the Nintendo. And uh, I didn't have a box for it or whatever, but I figured I wanted the car, you know, and I would played it on emulator and stuff, but to actually see the car, I jumped on it. And then the NES Advantage, uh, I don't have one in box. I would like to get a boxed NES and a boxed Zapper by themselves. I've checked. I look every once in a while to see if there's some online, but I never go to Hogwild looking for one, and then I have a my little Goomba uh, stuffed stuffed dude back there. Um, so this is just a little bit of my Nintendo collection. I have a ton of stuff. You know, like I said, I probably have close to 100 box games. Most of them are complete. Um, I do have, you know, some just Nintendo cartridges over here. But I also have a huge plastic tub that's probably got another, you know, 150 to 200 uh, loose carts in it. Um, and someday I'll dig that out. I've never actually shown all my Nintendo stuff, so someday I'll actually dig it out and we'll check it out, uh, together and really look at it all. Uh, but I just remember really, uh, wanting this over the, I don't have a NES, um, what are they called? The, the pad thing you run on either. Um, but, um, I've seen them. I actually seen one in box at, the uh, vintage stock for $25. I just don't buy it because I'll never use it. If it was like $12, I'd buy it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's the Nintendo. Uh, there's the regular controllers. It's amazing how you'll, you'll play some game on an emulator or something and you won't be playing with the old Nintendo controller and you just... I struggle. I'll, I'll struggle with games and I'm like, why am I having such a hard time? And then I'll realize it's because I'm not playing with the original controller and I'm just so used to that game and the feeling of the controller in my hand, you know, that hand-eye coordination type of thing. And it's just, you know, if I hook up the system and use the original hardware, it's like night and day sometimes uh, than playing on the emulator, even though it's the same game. So, anyway, um, that's about it. I'm going to sign off. Cool question, as always. Um, it's one that I like to, like I said, revisit. I don't think my opinions change much. Uh, the uh, Sega CD, uh, the Sega Genesis with the Sega CD and the Nintendo are my two favorite retro systems of all time. But Nintendo edges it out because of how much nostalgia I have for it and growing up with it and spending the time with my buddies in high school and stuff and just having to save for almost every single thing I bought for it as opposed to uh, just being able to go out and buy almost anything I want um, you know I, right now I don't have a, a this gen you know system like the Xbox One or PS4 but it's because I choose not to go buy one I could go buy one but I just don't I'm not ready to so Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Uh, cool question. Uh, thanks for coming by and checking out the vid. Like I said, I'll put a, dis a link to his video in my description. Please go check it out. And I'm getting the hiccups from talking so much. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. Um, and uh, we'll see you next video. And uh, now you're playing with power. <laughs> so we'll sign off. See you later, folks. Bye.